Welcome back to another video here on YouTube. Um, I'm going to be continuing my top 5 favorite pay-per-views. So, let's get in with 2006. First, uh, number 5, I have uh, Royal Rumble 2006. Uh, I found this pay-per-view really good. A lot of fun to watch. Um, the cover, it's alright. But this was a very good pay-per-view. <clears throat> it was in Miami, Florida. Um, this is where Rey Mysterio would um, be in the Rumble for over one hour. Um, win it. And it was so much fun. Uh, if you didn't know, Randy Orton was supposed to win it. But something came up, like, um, and, and ended up Rey Mysterio winning. The only, um, match I didn't like was Kurt Angle versus Mark Henry. No offense, no, like, I don't have, um, any problems with either one of them. I just felt like they didn't have much chemistry to working together in that match. Next is um, my one of my favorite Survivor Series. No, my favorite Survivor Series, uh, Survivor Series 2006. Um, I love the cover on it. That is so cool. Um, everything about this is a great event. So it's not an A plus pay per view, but it's worth watching. Um, Mr. Kennedy versus Undertaker in the first blood match. So, I thought Undertaker was going to win, but Mr. Kennedy ended up winning. Because, if I'm correct, MVP came out. was He was going to hit Mr. Kennedy, but then he uh, hit Undertaker instead. Uh, DX, CM Punk, Matt Hardy, Jeff Hardy versus Radio RKO, Johnny Nitro, Mike Knox, and Gregory Helms. So, uh, Team DX eliminates all of Team Rated RKO. It was so cool. John Cena, Kane, Bobby Lashley, Sabu, and RVD versus Big Show, Test, MVP, Finley, and Umaga, and the other, and the other traditional one. And then you got Ric Flair, Dusty Rhodes, Ron Simmons, and Sergeant Slaughter versus Kenny, Johnny, Nikki, and Mikey. So, that one's your Legends versus, um, basically the Spirit Squad. Chris Benoit versus, um, Chavo Guerrero. And if you notice here, um, that, I heard that was a No Mercy shot. Undertaker doing the leg drop, so. Yeah. Learn, WWE needs to learn to not make mistakes like that. Overall, a really good pay-per-view. And great discard, too. Next up, um, my favorite SummerSlam of all time. Um, this was a lot of fun to watch. The only downside about it is Batista versus King Booker. Um, I wanted Booker T to lose, actually. I wanted um, Batista to win. Obviously. So, then they could have, Booger T could have had his rematch with Survivor Series. And, um, it could have been better than what it was there. And King Booger could have lost twice to Batista. That would have been fun. Uh, John Cena versus Edge was awesome. And then DX versus the McMahons was another great match. My, f my favorite match was, um, the Big Show versus Sabu. Um, that's a great match. And then Ric Flair versus uh, Mick Foley was awesome. And then the discard's pretty cool. It's like one of those things. If you look at it um, long enough, it'll look funny. 
Then there is your extras. Number two, uh, my favorite New Year's Revolution. How convenient. I have a lot of my favorites in this pay-per-view. Um, New Year's Revolution 2006. I love this one. is possibly the best one out of all three of them. Ten, uh, the Elimination Chamber. Ten, ten tons of steel. Two miles of chain. One left standing. Oh, wait. You thought that was John Cena? No. One man left standing. His name is the Rated R Superstar, Edge. This pay-per-view is known for Edge cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase, finally becoming world champion. And that is so cool. Uh, Jerry the King Lawler versus Gregory Holmes was, was alright. Big Show versus Triple H was a great match. Unfortunately, Big Show didn't win like I wanted. Ric Flair versus Edge for the Intercontinental title. Um, Edge should have won that match instead of getting himself disqualified. So then he could have cashed in and became the WWE and Intercontinental Champion in one night. And then John Cena, Kurt Angle, Shawn Michaels, Chris Masters, Carlito, and Kane in the Elimination Chamber match. Um... That was a great match, except every time I watch it, I am always surprised that Kurt Angle is the first one eliminated. Um, I don't know why they did that, but Kurt, I would have figured Chris Masters would have been the first eliminated. But this is a great pay-per-view. And then, number one, if you've seen my other ones, you're obviously going to know what I picked. It's WrestleMania. The best pay-per-view of 2006 is obviously WrestleMania 22. Um, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. This pay-per-view does not have one boring match. You got a great hardcore match with Edge and Mick Foley. My favorite match um, on the card is Shawn Michaels and Mr. McMahon in the No Holds Barred match. Um, Undertaker and um, Mark Henry in the casket match was awesome. Great Mysterio, Kurt Angle, and Randy Orton in, for the world title. I just wish that match was um, longer. And then John Cena versus Triple H for the WWE title. I wish Triple H would have won. But, it is what it is. So, this Hall of Fame, you had a great class, if I can find it. Right here. You had the Blackjacks, um, Vern Gagne, William the Refrigerator Perry, uh, Sensational Sherry, Tony Atlas, Gene, um, Mean Gene Okerlund, uh, the late great Eddie Guerrero, and um, Bret Hart. So, one of the um, better Hall of Fame classes in a long time. And then you had um, RVD missing WrestleMania last year. Due to a knee injury. So. He came back. And won. The money in the bank. And then he. Decided to. Um, go at. ECW one night stand. Against John Cena. And then he won the title there. So that was so cool. Hold on as I set these up. If they will stand. So this is my 2006 top 5 favorite pay-per-views. 
let me know what yours are down below. As I always say, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, and Whitestoner is out.